check this out. You're in a grade 10 math class, and it says the product of two consecutive integers, let's say integers in this case, is 210. What are those numbers? Now, you have to break this down. So let's break this down together. Consecutive means start with x, and the one after that is x plus 1. That's what consecutive means, one after the other. And it says product, right? So let's do x bracket x plus 1, and that equals to the product of 210. And you have a beautiful equation. x bracket x plus 1 equals 210. Now, let's go ahead and do some algebra. Whenever you see x bracket something like this, you can do distributive property. So let's multiply x into that bracket. And when we do that, we get x times x, which is x squared. We get x times 1, which is 1x, or x. And that equals to 210 in this case. So now, we're solving quadratics, right? This is what it is. We get a quadratic. What we have to do is we have to move 210 to the left side. And in doing so, we get x squared plus 1x minus 210, right? So when you move 210 over, it goes from a positive to a negative. We can also say subtract 210 from both sides, whatever you wish. Okay, so now we have something called standard form quadratic. How do I solve standard form quadratic? There's a number of ways. I know in this case that I'm going to get integers, whole numbers. So I know that this technique called factoring is available to me. So I need, this is how you factor. I need two numbers that multiply to negative 210, that's this guy, but at the same time add to positive 1, because there's a hidden 1, right? What are those two numbers? Those two numbers are positive 15 and negative 14. I get that by trial and error, thinking it through, okay? So here we go. We have positive 15, negative 14. So I can factor this by using two brackets. So here's how I'm going to write it. I'm going to say x plus 15 in a bracket. And I'm going to say x minus 14 also in a bracket. That equals to 0 because, of course, I have 0 on the right side. Awesome. Now, this is where things get interesting because I've got two brackets, right? And they're multiplied together, and I get a result of 0. When do you get two things multiplied together equaling 0? When does that happen? That happens when either the first one is zero, the second one is zero, or both are zero, right? That's the only way you can get a product of zero. So what does this mean? I can apply something called the property of zero. This means I could say, okay, x plus 15 equals zero. Cool. I can also say x minus 14 equals zero. And now I've set up two linear equations, right? I can solve for x. Beautiful. So in the left case, if I move 15 over, I get x is negative 15. If I move 14 over, I get x equals positive 14. So here's a question to you. Am I done? No, I'm not done. I have two x values. One is negative, one is positive. In this case, they are not consecutive to each other, right? Negative 15 is way out to the left of 0. Positive 14 is on the other side of 0. They're not consecutive. So this is where a lot of students stop. They're like, I'm done. You're not done yet. Remember, the two numbers that we started with, right, were x and x plus 1. So we have two possibilities for x. Therefore, we have two possibilities for x plus 1. So go ahead and add 1 to each of these two answers. And then, and only then, are you done. So x plus 1 in the first case on the left is going to be negative 15 plus 1. That is negative 14 x plus 1 on the right is going to be 14 plus 1, which is positive 15. So these two combinations of answers are my final answer to the problem. One is going to be negative 15, negative 14, and the other is going to be 14, 15. That is how you solve the product of two consecutive integers. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, it would mean a lot to us if you left a like, commented, subscribed, and we will see you in the next one. Peace.